Hey guys, I went to Best Buy today to try to find a tripod so that I could show you how I was making my card tonight, but they said I had to go look online. And so I just thought I would give you an overview of my supplies and what I am working on. Hi, Unicorn Planner. Thanks for joining. Anyways, let me go ahead and introduce myself. I'm sorry, it's been a while. I took a little bit of a break from Periscope. I've been on Snapchat and checking that out. Hi, Mama's Time. Thanks for joining. Anyways, my name is Melinda. I am a homeschooler of two, and I am a Stamping Up demonstrator and a planner girl, and I am making a birthday card for my girl. Her birthday is... Ap oh, okay. Well, here, here you go. Um... My girl is turning 18 on Monday. She doesn't think it's a big deal, but to me, I think it is. And uh, we're actually celebrating tomorrow, so I thought I would get her card done tonight. So let me go ahead and take a seat, and then I'm going to flip the camera. Sorry if I'm making you guys dizzy. Like I said, I don't have the tripod like I was hoping I would have today. So hold on a minute. Hi, Kat. Cat is Z. Oh, I'm sorry if I butchered that. Thanks. Oh, there we go. Hi, guys. Hi. So hopefully you saw earlier what I was working on. I'm going to make a birthday card for my my oldest. She's turning 18. Does that mean I'm old? I was 18 yesterday, right? I'm just kidding. I hope you guys are having a good Friday night. Thanks for keeping me company while I work on this. So this is from our spring catalog, and these are the items that I am working on. I like to look at my catalog because it gives me ideas of how to make certain cards and things like that. And this is what I punched the number 18 out of. It's our die cuts called large numbers. If you are interested in the stamping up at all, I blog at Mel's Creative Creations at blogspot.com. And you can find a lot of my uh, creations there. So, let's see. Hold on a minute. I'm going to show you the card I'm working on again. So this is what I'm hoping it'll look like when I'm done. It says, look who's churning. And then I was put 18. And then that should say happy birthday. I was thinking of using this ink to go with it whoops, to go with it since there is uh, purple in this. And this color, this what we call it is Blackberry Bliss. My favorite colors. If you have any questions or anything while I'm working on this, you guys are more than welcome to ask. And I, yes, these clear pieces right here, we call them our photo palmer stamps. And what I like to do is um, stamp them using my piercing mat because it gives it that extra um. Yeah, thank you. And so what I'm going to do is, I knew what you meant. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp the sediment up here and up here. And then hopefully the number 18 will go right here. What's funny is while I was prepping this card, I was listening to Amy Weiler's um scope from this morning since I missed it about her about her interesting day so if you guys are ones that like to pray I would like for you guys to keep her in your prayers so yeah yeah oh I just noticed this is crooked nobody else would probably notice but me so let me fix this Sorry. <laughs> um, what is your name again, Ma Mama's Time? I, I know we've been in some of the same groups and things like that, but I your name has escaped me. Let me see. Uh, Rebecca, that's right. That's right. I think you're on, you're on the West Coast with me. I remember you saying you're in Nevada. I'm in California. And that... I remember you saying that you had a child that was autistic, and my son is also on the spectrum. He is PDD-NOS, which means he's in between 
aut autism and Aspinger, but he doesn't have enough. Whoops. Thank you. Sorry. I have to plug my light back in. I have an ot light and I guess I knocked my foot against my cord and it came, it turned everything off. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I've been trying to scope and stuff, but sometimes I run out of ideas. That's why I'm in that Periscope Brigade group. But I don't know. For some reason, I just didn't feel like scoping. And I've been checking out um, Snapchat. And I like that because it's like a 30-second thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I know that the diagnosis that my son has personally, uh, they said that that's no longer the definition or whatever. But I don't know what they call it. So I just tell when people ask, I just tell them the diagnosis that they told me. And he was, I guess he was diagnosed six years ago. So I guess they changed the definition. So what I did is, what's nice about this clear stamp, it will stick to your uh, block. I don't have to add any extra glue or anything because it's sticking right there. And then, like I said, I'm going to put, I'm going to use this ink. And on this piece of paper right here. And of course, hopefully I can open this. There we go. And this is what Blackberry Bliss looks like when you open it. And then there's the color. Yes, yes. I usually... Um, yeah, you just can get a generic size, like the, what you think would fit the, um, stamp. Did that make sense, what I said? So, this is what it turns out to be. I, um, usually wipe my stamps off with baby wipes and then use my scrubber, but that is just a quick fix because otherwise I try to wash them off with like soap and water or, or at least rinse it with water. The only bad thing, if you call, if you call it a bad thing, is that sometimes the dark colors will stain the stamp, but it doesn't mean it's going to be that color the next time you stamp something. It's not going to be purple. Like let's say you wanted to stamp this in yellow, it will stamp yellow. It's just stained because I used a dark color. Okay. Yeah, I, like I I don't know if you caught my, what I was saying earlier when I was first introducing myself. I'd gone to Best Buy to see if I could find a tripod. And then I was asking them, do you have a tripod for the iPhone or whatever? And they're like, oh, you have to go online for that. And I was like, really? So I wasn't happy because... Um, a lot of these crafting uh, scopes, you want to have your audience be able to see what you're doing. Otherwise, <laughs> you guys are just seeing me and I and I have to like, you know, hold up what I am doing. So that's a little bit frustrating, but it happens. I enjoy this community, so I'm not complaining too much about it. I just have to figure out a creative way to work around it. Oh, I have the words backwards. I guess I have to do it this way. So. Yeah, me too. Usually I have this against my little windowsill or whatever, and it works just fine. But like, you know, when you want to show something, then you have to keep moving your phone. That's the only bad thing. Because my biggest fear is that you might get bored trying to watch what I'm doing because you can't see exactly what I'm doing. Oh, I love washi tape. I didn't really know what that was till I think a year or two ago. I'm not sure. And I didn't, honestly, I didn't really know much about stamps because I was a scrapbooker until I got into um, stamping up. And the way I got into stamping up is, hold on, let me press this. I guess I can't multitask. <laughs> So here's the bottom part of it. 
and then I'll put the 18 in the middle. The way I got into stamping up was that my mother had passed away in 2011 and she left me some inheritance money and I used it for a variety of things and um, the leftover money I had, I wanted to do something fun and something that reminded me of her and she was the one that I could always count on that would send us a card for anything and everything. Like, you know how we're going to have daylight savings next week. She was the one that would send you the reminder of don't forget to turn your clocks or spring forward or whatever. And I thought, well, maybe I could invest in a card company or some kind of scrapbooking company. And I basically did a pros and cons list for these like three or four different companies that were out at the time. And I really like stamping up and I never really worked with them. And I thought, well, I'll just take a chance. I'll buy the kit and see what I think. And that was like five years ago and I've loved it ever since. And I'm glad that I kept kept it. Of course, sometimes I think I'm, I'm my best customer, but I like making cards and different things like that because I feel like I've got a little bit of my mom when I do that. It's a nice reminder. Okay. So now, yeah, that's my story. That's my why for why I do what I do. So there we go. Uh-oh. Oh, I was going to say, I thought I lost this piece, but of course it's on top of this stamp set. Nice. I know, I know, I'm, I think you follow Shanna Hammett. She always says that she's not crafty, and then I see the things that she does, and I'm just like, you know, I think to myself, how can she say she's not crafty? Look at all the things that she makes. I feel bad that I'm not as active on Periscope, but a lot of the girls I've noticed, you know, they don't live on the West Coast like us, so, and I'm a late bird, so by the time I come on to talk to people, you know, their day's halfway over or whatever, or like right now, it's probably like after 10 on the East Coast, because but I catch a lot of replays. Uh-oh. Hi, little Miss Scatter. B, thanks for joining. I'm just working on a birthday card for my daughter who is turning 18 on Monday. Yes, they are scoping during dinner. And um, I forgot what else I was going to say. Oh, well. Anyways, this is the end result. I'm probably going to make an envelope with this. I'm going to write something personal in here. Like, and have her, I mean, have myself and her dad and her brother probably sign this. Are you guys interested in seeing me make an envelope? If so, I will be glad to do that. If not, I'll let you go. Oh, you want to make cards now? Oh, cool. If you need any help or anything, or if there's a technique or something you want to learn, let me know, and I will gladly do a scope. I'll do either one like this, or I could do a private one, or if I don't know the technique, I can always... Um, find out or maybe I can send you a YouTube link and say this is how you do it. I think that looks pretty good. I wonder if I have green. Oh yes I do. I guess I will make an envelope for me. So I have this paper. Doesn't it look like a marble? Like you know what this reminds me of when you have kids that are young that like to play with Thank you. Um, like shaving cream look or whatever, and you add the ink to it. I haven't tried that yet, but that's what this reminds me of. Yes, I will. I'll be glad to help you out. And I, what I like about making cards to me, they are a, um, what is that word? Oh, not a quick fix. But it's something that you can make quick and so you get satisfied really quick. I'm saying, I'm probably saying it wrong. Never mind. I hope you understand what I was trying to say before I butchered it all. I don't know if this paper will work. I might just have to use a different kind of paper. I already made some envelopes. I made these because this same daughter who's got this birthday also has a boyfriend and they celebrated their anniversary last week. She asked me to make envelopes for him because she wanted to put a card in there and of course these are the rejects 
And this is the one. Oh, where is it? Oh, it must be somewhere else. But I made a car, a, an envelope out of this paper, and she was like, antlers, antlers. So obviously, that was a no win. Let me see if this one will work. Oh, there. Oh, it's too small. I was going to try to stick this card in here, but as you can see, it doesn't work. So I'm going to have to play around and figure out what paper I want to use to make this. But Rebecca, I wanted to say thank you so much for coming and keeping me company and asking me questions. And I wanted to say thank you to all my replay viewers and any live viewers I had have out there if you're interested in my blog like i said it is mel's creative creations at blogspot.com i oh i'm so glad you you caught me too and um if you're on facebook i have a business page called mel's creative creations basically i'm trying to have my name be mel's creative creations the only time that i'm air to me is on twitter and on periscope because i didn't want to change the name because i heard it was just a tedious process and if you are on snapchat my name is different there too it's korean one 2001 and rebecca i just wanted to say have a good night and i hope you have a great weekend and i'm sure i will see you in the group or in one of your scopes because i've been trying to catch your scopes too when i can Oh. And I hate it when um, Periscope, thank you. Um, I mean, <laughs> I'm, losing, I'm getting tongue tied here. Um, I hate it when Periscope ends your scope and you have like your tongue out or something. So my last picture is going to be of this card and I will talk to you guys soon. If the camera will flip, I know Periscope's been having issues. Oh, there it is. Good night.